Hello everybody, it's Sabalot here and in today's video I'm going to show you how to play camera check by using Anim Notifies. So if you don't know what Anim Notify is, it is basically a custom logic that you want to execute during your animation. So for example, if I want to play a sound at this frame of the animation, I'm just going to add a new Notify and choose the Play Sound Notify. And in here, I can choose a sound that I want to play. And I can also review it uh, during this animation. So you guys may ask me, well, I can just get the player controller here and then play the camera check. And then we're done here. But by using Anim Notify, we have a lot more control over where and when we want to play our Notify instead of just playing it right away after we find a line choice. Alright, so I'm gonna delete this. So to create our custom Notify, uh, we're gonna need to create a new grouping class. And I will find the Anim Notify class over here. Delete it. And I will name it VP Play. Camera check notify. And after we create a new notify, um, it will be visible in the notify track over here. So you guys can see this is our play camera check notify. So there's uh, currently nothing here. So we will need to uh, override our receive notify event. And in here we're gonna get the player controller. And then we're going to call the client start camera check. And the return value should be true. So for the check class, I'm going to promote it to a new variable called uh, camera check class. And also for the scale, I'm going to promote it to a new variable called scale. And then we're going to so in our notify, uh, we still can't see our variables here. So we're gonna need to make the variable uh, instant editable like this and compile save. And now you can see uh, our camera check glass and scale over here. And then I'm gonna position the notify a little bit. And also make sure the plan time of your anime montage is around 0.05. So for the camera check, I'm going to create two camera checks class um, and I'm going to find the camera check. So in here, we're going to need to choose the Martini camera check and I will call it firing check. Alright, and I'm going to open it. And in here, I'm gonna change the camera check class to our firing check, and the scale will be one. So for the duration, I'm gonna type in 0.4, frame time will be 0.2, and the frame out time will be 4. Alright, so here are the values for my firing camera check. So to actually test it out, we're gonna need to go to our character blueprint and I'm gonna grab the mesh and then get the anim instance and from the anim instance I'm gonna play a montage and the montage will be our fire rifle inside pine safe and if I test our recoil you can see there's a little bit of shake when we're firing, so that's good. And now I also want to create one more camera check. And I will call it a um, record check. And now I'm going to start typing in the value for this um, camera check. Alright, so here are my final values for this camera check. 
And now in our firing montage, I'm gonna add a new notify track. And I will also add a camera check notify and change the camera check to our record check. Then save. So now if I test our camera check, it will look like this. It looks a bit uh, snappy right now, so I'm gonna change the blend time out, the blend out time to be around 0.1. And now for something extra, I also gonna play a animation for my weapon. So uh, this is my weapon uh, firing montage. So as you can see, there's a muzzle flash over here. So the way we're gonna spawn this muzzle flash is to go to our animation over here and then add a notify and play particle effect. And then you're gonna need to choose your muzzle flash particle effect over here. And here you go. And now in our weapon blueprint, I'm gonna grab the weapon mesh and I'm also going to get the binding instant and I'm going to play a montage drag it over here and in here I'm going to choose the shoot one montage over here now if I test our animation All right. and from this I can even add a new uh, play sound notified over here and I can choose my AK-47 firing sound <laughs> And now if I test, I'll record. You can see that using Anim Notify is very powerful and flexible. So be sure to make use of it uh, as much as you can. And that's all I got for you for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.